Warning, the following video contains opinions not based on fact. If this disturbs, alarms, or frightens you, turn away now. Otherwise, enjoy the video. So you've all been pretty vocal about getting me to share my official opinion on the booster pack items added into the game now that we are two packs deep. That's 15 items. Well, you got me convinced to do a video. There are a total of 15 new items added into the game via the mod community, which first and foremost, let me just say a huge congrats to the modding community of Isaac. You are all some of the most inspiring and creative people I've ever seen. The passion and drive to further improve this game and its legacy means a ton to us larger fans and uh, players of Isaac in general. Congrats to those who've been bumped to the official status and to those who will be. I see you out there, just give it time. Anyway, let's count down my top 10 booster pack items added to the game so far. At number 10, we have a little dude by the name of Bozo created by Electune. Bozo gives the player a very small damage increase and a soul heart. Its true play, though, comes in at its ability to randomly fear and charm foes in the current room. It's a random effect, and so it can be a bit of a hassle to use it to your advantage, but it's still helpful without having to get two separate items for those effects. It's a nice little package deal, and it also makes you shit rainbows, but that's a different story. Speaking of packages... No, wait, that's, that's for later. Fast Bombs isn't the flashiest of items added, and honestly, when I heard of it, I was like, dude, why wasn't this in the game already? But then I calmed down, and I realized that not everyone is perfect and must express great care when talking about what others should do with their creations. Meta. But the idea of placing down rapid bombs does have its uses. For instance, with sad bombs, this is incredible. And unlike other bomb-type collectibles, this one gives you a whopping plus seven bombs on grabbing it. That's a win alone. Little Delirium, created by Ash, Kate, and Skaze, is a freaking beast. He's a familiar that can transform into numerous other familiars for a specific duration of time. This includes, but is not limited to, Little Brim, Brob's Brain, Little Haunt, Rotten Baby, and so on. There isn't much other than that to him, but he's definitely a fun and cosmetically interesting familiar when you can snag him. The mystery gift created by Mills is a great gamble on the shop item. For 15 cents, you can carry this wherever you want to get any item you can imagine. This can be used on any room to get an item from that pool, which means you can carry this until you think you need something, or use it right away, hoping to get a gamble on another good shop item. This item does have one major downside, though. It can spawn the poop. But, to a counter of that, it can also spawn a lump of coal. Eh? <laughs> Telepathy, or misappropriated in the game, telekinesis, created by Yufu, is an active item that is usable about every two seconds on each room. This item, once used, causes all bullets in the room to stop like the Matrix, and then fly back in the direction they came from. This can be pretty damn useful on some of the more projectile-intensive rooms. However, this is its only real use of the item, but the fact that it can be used multiple times in one room makes it very useful for some bosses. The Jumper Cables, also created by Ash, Kate, and Skaze, is one of the most unique utility items added into the game. This item adds a passive ability to charge your spacebar item one bar for every 15 enemies you kill. This can work well with some of the more defensive active items in the game. For instance, you are close to death, but you don't have a charge on Book of Shadows. You enter a room full of attack flies. Bam! You can punch it. It's pretty good. The Moving Box, created by Tim Leachanter, is a great function item added to the game and maybe my favorite so far. This item allows Isaac to load up any items or pickups on the current room, up to a limit of six, true, and move them to wherever you want them to be. A great strategy for this is to take six chests down to the final chapter so you can get an easy six items from it. 
However, you're very well able to pick up a ton of whatever you want and come up with your own unique strategies. The Black Hole, created by Custom Fades, is a fantastic active item that allows you to toss an actual black hole portal into the room that sucks in all enemies' pickups and chests into it. This deals damage to all the mobs affected to it and also eats away at environmental objects while it's active. This item has a huge potential for dealing mass damage, destroying obstacles if you're low on bombs, or to just move all consumables into the center of the room if you're lazy. It's pretty cool. Coupon created by Plumbo is a surprising fan favorite. This item has a six room charge that allows you to get a free item from any exchange, be it a devil deal, a shop, or a black market. This item is RNG based and rolls a die to choose what item is given at the store credit effect it does, so it's best to use it when you really only need it, just to save on charges. In combination with items that spawn or create numerous little batteries though, it can be a phenomenal game winning item. Technology Zero created again by Ash Katenskase. Big congrats to you guys for getting three items to be in the booster packs. Is easily the best item so far added into the boosters. There is almost nothing more exciting to an Isaac player than a new technology item being added into the game. And this one was a surefire loved one. This item connects all of your fire tiers with a tech chain lightning. This in combination with has a it's just got a ton of synergies, guys. It's absolutely fantastic. Parasite, Compound Fracture, Tiny Planet, Sad Bombs, Tammy Head, so on and so forth. Tech Zero is a great and awesome and creative addition to the game. Congrats, Ash Katenskase. You've earned my badge of honor. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you modders and mod teams who continue to support this game the way you do. If I had any basic knowledge of coding in Lua, and the time, I would love to implement my own ideas into the game, as I've got a ton of them. Maybe someday, though. If you did enjoy the video, drop it a like, and feel free to subscribe to the channel to show your support in what I do. Be sure to comment your new favorite booster items below as well, and also be sure to go follow me on twitch.tv slash pentahyber to catch the live shows when I'm streaming. I do stream often, and you can catch me out there and chat with me in the Twitch chat.